Well, good morning, guys. It's a nice morning out here. I'm using my Opinel knife as a uh, tamper this morning. And I'm smoking um, out of a little pipe that I made. One of my first pipes I made. And then later on, I went on to put the bamboo shank on. I'm smoking some of this uh, fourth generation 2012 Virginia. Like, it's really good stuff, guys. It's actually one of my favorite Virginias now. It's really, really good. I really do like the Virginias. Um, this one's really good got all the hay bready flavors and then just like the right amount of sweetness there's like no topping or anything like that on it but it's just the right amount of sweetness um also have some coffee here early morning coffee mm. i think coffee is probably one of the best beverages to have with a pipe. It goes well with the Virginias, it goes well with the Englishes, Orientals, all of them. But I have a pipe that I've been working on. Not one that I made, but one that I refurbished. Um, I found it in an antique shop. This pipe going. Found it in an antique shop and is kind of interesting. Um, I will have it available on my Etsy. And this is kind of like the shape of it. Kind of like an acorn. Type of a shape, but I mean, it cleaned up real nice. There's the inside of it. There's only the slightest discoloration on top of the bowl. The majority of it I was able to get out. All natural um, finish on it. I just applied a carnauba wax to it. Um, buffed it up no stain or anything like that it's all original the stem yeah it's going to kind of see i mean that is didn't take much to clean the stem up it's all oxidized but there weren't any like deep teeth marks or anything like that no holes just a couple others that i'm working on that have some holes in them you can see the logo I don't know if it's going to focus or not. But. And there'll be like close-up photos of this. But it's a Janssen's N.O. pipe. It's a vulcanite stem. Stem comes out nice. You can see the inside of it. Clean the inside of this pipe completely. reamed the inside of it out and then just because it's an older pipe reapplied a uh, carbon layer but the thing about those Jansen's pipes a little history on them gosh this fourth generation stuff is pretty good guys it's a really good morning smoke but a little bit of history about the Janssen's pipes. So, way back, it's rumored to have started a tobacco um, shop by a German immigrant. Came to America in 1860, opened up, uh, I think it was like Ye Old Pipe Shop, which was like in the French quarter of 
uh, New Orleans. So in 1860, so one of America's first, and if they're still in business, would be the oldest pipe shop in all of America, or the United States. Um, but <clears throat> he had to deal with uh, Kamoy and um, GBD to make um, pipes, and then they would stamp the name on them. Uh, so that pipe uh, is dated from like the 60s or 70s, um, probably more in the 70s, um, but uh, it went out of business um, and he passed away um, and went out of business in like eight, uh, 1980, I think, early 80s, around there. Uh, so then the shop like closed down, so the pipe is definitely pre 80s um <clears throat> but it cleaned up real nice and i'll have some photos of it so you guys can see that and yeah it'll be available on my etsy um it's kind of cool uh it's one of the oldest uh pipe shops in america or would be one of the oldest pipe shops in america so just wanted to show off that pipe and I have some close-up photos of it right now.